Hello everyone, welcome back to my campaign, and I'm sorry I was gone for a while. I had uh, a bunch of work to do, and I actually still have kind of a lot to do, but I'll get it some done tomorrow, so I figured it's been long enough without an episode, I'll just do this. Um, I've been reading all the comments, as I pretty much always do, actually, and I'm going to do what you guys say here. Uh, hold on. Alright. You guys have been saying that I need to change my government, and I agree with you. I actually didn't, don't know that much about the governments in this game. So, I learned from you guys, and what we are going to do now is try to provoke the Jacobin rebels. So, once they revolt, I'm going to kill them all, except for the one in Amsterdam. And if there's not one in Amsterdam, I guess I'll just sort of wait till the one that usually will spawn up around here slowly moves down to Amsterdam. Hopefully that'll happen. Or I can kind of fight it and force it to sort of corral it into Amsterdam. And then, once they take Amsterdam and convert the province and hold it for 365 days, they will win and we will have a revolution. It will become HM's government, His Majesty's government, and then I will be able to appoint the parties that I was never able to before. Like, uh, we're talking here, these ones with state capitalism. have a lot of choices here. Uh, like, uh, so we'll be able to appoint those and get our industry really going by being able to build factories on command. So anyway, we're going to try to do stuff that'll make Jacobins angry. And raising taxes seems like a good enough idea, so we'll try that. So, let's have my mouse here. Shut up. See if the yeah they are gaining in power a little bit, and the revolt risk is and it's going up a little bit. All right, so Jacobins are getting angry. Angry, sorry. Uh, so basically. What we have to do now is kind of wait a little while. We can just kind of check up on how stuff is going. Yeah. Recruit some guys over here. One, two, three, four. This reminds me of, um, ah, hold on. All right. Reminds me of those, uh, Sorry. Let me just get done with this. There's a how many licks does it take to really get to the center of a Tootsie Pop commercials? One, two, three! And he bites it. And I was always kind of disappointed because I wanted to know. So, I mean, we're gonna, once the Jacobins come out, we're gonna have to just kill the ones over here. What? By the way, where's my big army? Forget where it went. Actually, oh yeah, yeah. Here. And we were trying to do something with Johor so we could kill it. I could dissolve my alliance, but then they're still in my sphere. I wonder if I c can you declare war on sphere members? Oops. 
just let me just find one that is in my sphere but not allied with to see if it has the declare war option. No, you cannot. So I will have to remove them from my sphere if that's even possible. Hopefully, because I want this. Check on the Jacobins. Yeah, they're getting a little bit angrier. Now, if anyone... Here's a question for you guys. If anyone knows what actually happens when you get to 1935, if it, like, forces you to stop playing, or if you're allowed to keep going, just, I mean, technology runs out, like, kind of like Empire Total War, please tell me, because it, it's kind of important. Like, I mean, we could sort of continue playing for a little while more. I want to do other stuff on this channel. If we get to 1935, or... We might not be able to do that, so it's important. Yeah, but I'm going to fix this economy up once we get to uh, a point, some um, probably communist or something. Oh, should have read that. Oh well. I could recruit some more guys here, but, uh, well, I mean, yeah, why not? Because I am tasked with basically defending all of Africa. So, one, two, three, four, five, hmm. Need some artillery, and I realized I didn't build any artillery for that one in the Middle East. We'll get that for them. Alright, cool. Third of March, 1911. Oh, Italy. Italy won the war. Pretty messed up looking Portugal now, but okay. And they're still at war with Spain, and Spain wants. Uh, they want. Adger. And Spain is actually not occupied. Oh, well, yeah, Italy had that occupied, that's why. Jacobins are now. Yeah, they're gaining some power. Uh, no, screw you. You were at war with my sphere member. So, I mean, I think after my industry is fixed, I I guess what, I'll get around to forcing Italy to give that back. And then what? Then, I mean, like, long term here, we're going to basically have great power because of um, our, like the land we've taken, just going to give us so much industrial power. Because, like I said in the beginning, that was what we needed. So now we just need better government. Which is kind of inconvenient and stupid that you have to actually trigger a revolt to change your government. Like I'm the like maybe. To go the other way, you should have to do that, but if you're an absolute monarch, you should be able to make it a different government if you want. Uh, these guys are going to go here. I'll just wait till all these guys are finished training and then I'll just. it'll be easier.
Getting some really multicultural places here. Hmm. What can I do to make them angry? Why would I ever want to release a nation? kind of messing around here until it is time. Cool. I've been thinking about getting a job um, in real life, I'm talking about. And that would allow me to get some more parts and upgrade my computer. So, I'm wondering if that's a good idea or not. If I had a ton of subscribers, I could probably just kind of mooch off you guys and ask for money, but I don't think it's going to work at this amount. <laughs> Unless you guys are just incredibly nice, which I'm sure a few of you are, but whatever. So, 5th Army is looking pretty good. So Spain has used their greed to get more here. We still have... How's our gold region place coming? Why are there five... I have another idea. Since my recruitment places in Europe, most of them are kind of... Like, I, I mean, I'm not going to be able to replace these guys, and I'm not going to bother keep paying soldiers so that I can have the byproduct of making places like this, these two, I'm going to lower the amount I pay soldiers. Down to 55. And that'll cause more of them to become farmers and stuff like that. It'll also probably make some of them angry. Portugal wants an alliance. Yes, okay. Ooh, hey, good. We got nitroglycerin. Now we just need machine tools, and we are researching the thing that will allow us to get that. It's kind of nice how we're just making a ton of money while we wait for the Jacobins to get angry. But... These guys can go here. Wait till they're done. Let's see, this is the most money I think we've ever had. Oh. So we're going to have to, hmm, exploding padang. So we're using nitroglycerin here. That is good. This is, why don't we go look at where that is. So we are using explosives to mine tobacco, apparently. That's how it's working. So that's useless. Anyway, we've kind of accidentally become the Russia of, you know, we are like how Russia used to be, in that we have a lot of land, but we're still kind of economically backwards, uh, so we're going to have to do this sort of late industrialization here, and open up the factories again, and get everyone to work.
Alright, so now they're still gaining power. What about the anarcho liberals? What if they took over? So they'd form this anti revolutionary party. And I know it's not what it said, but that's what it is, I mean. Which is actually. Okay. So I guess I will accept that. It's not favorable, but I will probably let them have it if they revolt first. I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. There are allies, I'm not gonna... Whatever. Jacobins are still gaining power. I'm still not making militancy rise though because after the revolution I don't want to have rebel problems anymore. I just want it to be a one time state sponsored rebellion and then it will be over. See if we can get any allies. These great powers. This is always impossible. I get it. It's like I'm destined to be without allies. Well, sort of, I mean. I have a lot of allies, just not good ones. Or European ones, which is also really what matters. I need to make things even worse on the working class people.
Uh, kind of surprising they're not actually getting a lot of power. <laughs> oh, I will lose if they come up, I bet. Or, I don't know, at least it'll be the most powerful thing ever. Well, anyway, we also have the communists and the fascists. Where'd the fascists go? Yeah. Um, and if they revolt, I will also probably let them win. So really, just we're asking for any non-nationalist revolt. Or, I don't want the reactionaries either, because our reactionary party doesn't have state capitalism. I wonder if I should attack someone. Just colonize. There's still Egypt, I mean, but... So it's a pretty big region. I don't know. Ooh, hey! Meteor strikes Tunguska. The Tunguska explosion of 1908, which produced a devastating fireball in Siberia that destroyed forests and caused worldwide tremors, was the result of an asteroid or meteor, scientists believe. Alright, it doesn't have its own place, so... So Jacobins aren't actually getting so bad now. It's just so inconvenient. Use British. <laughs> Unification of Germany is really not going so well.
Alright, but I'm going to stop recording here because, uh, no, I'm not in my sphere yet. I have to do other stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will upload this video. Hopefully the Jacob Pinto will reveal it soon. Alright, bye though.